guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. So today's video, just I'm literally just doing this because I look, like to look back at these and I also enjoy watching other people's videos of what they got for Christmas. If I sound weird, I've got a bit of a cold. <laughs> but yeah, I love watching people's what I got for Christmas videos so I thought I would do one myself. This is no way, shape or form bragging. Um, I'm really grateful of what I got. And yeah, so I thought I would show you guys. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and I apologise that this video is a little bit late. But yeah, I've just been spending time with the family and I actually felt like I had a Christmas this year because normally when I used to work in a clothing shop, I literally had Christmas day off and then I had to be back in for Boxing Day. So I'm trying to figure out what that is on my face. I literally think it's just a shadow. Papa looks like a lot. Oh, it's my glasses shadow. <laughs> but yeah, I was gonna film this video the other day, but I went and got my booster COVID vaccine and my arm was dead, so I didn't, but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I'd show you guys what I got and yeah, let's jump into the video. So the first thing that I'm actually gonna show you is a little bit of a kind of like a surprise that we got. Um, so this year we spent New Year's Eve and Christmas Day at my sister's house for the first time. Um, she was really wanted to do a Christmas there and host it. So this year, because I now live around the corner from her, um, mum and dad decided to drive up and they stayed at my sister's for the night. And yeah, we had Christmas at my sister's. But Christmas Eve, she presented us all with these boxes um, from a little shop off Etsy. It just says the gift box co. So I'm guessing that's the com that's the little business's name, but I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so she told us that we all had to open them at the same time. So I'm gonna open the box and show you what's in this little Christmas Eve box that she gave us. Never had a Christmas Eve box before, so this is a cute idea. Um, so when you open it, it says on the back, wishing you a Merry Christmas, which is quite cute. And then, yeah, so there's one thing that was in there. I'll insert a little picture that I took of everything that was in there. Actually, there's two, but I don't have the other one on the picture. Um, so she, the inside the box, there was a glitter Christmas cracker, which obviously we pulled already, so I'd actually have that. And inside mine was a little sellotape thingamabob. Um, my mum had that. And the glitter got everywhere. We're still finding glitter on us to this day. It's currently the 2nd of January when I'm filming this. And we still got glitter on us. Um, but yeah. And then the second thing that's not actually on the picture is a little gingerbread house. Because I don't like gingerbread. And my dad didn't get one in his box because he got a slightly different box than us. Um, so my dad had the gingerbread house. But yeah, apart from that, everything else is in the box. So I'll just show you what's in there. So first of all is these Christmas socks. Um, just these little like, it's like a snowman or a bear or something in the snow with a hat on. And it just says, let it snow. I thought these were really cute. And they're actually really good quality as well. So that's really good. We wore these on Christmas day. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that was in the box. The second thing is this cute little stocking that's got my name on it and yeah she made us hang these up and on Christmas day there was a lottery ticket inside and my sister popped the lottery tickets inside them all and yeah because obviously Christmas day was a Saturday which is the day that the lottery got drawn but we didn't win anything so what we did was we screwed it up and threw it at her <laughs> as a joke obviously um, but yeah I thought that was pretty, really cute of Tracer. Um, the next thing is this little hot chocolate toasted marshmallows. I thought, I've opened it because I was intrigued. So I thought it, with it being a hot chocolate toasted marshmallows, I thought it was hot chocolate powder with marshmallows in it. But the ma toasted marshmallows is actually the scent of the hot chocolate. So I'm quite intrigued to taste this to see what it tastes like because I absolutely love hot chocolate. But yeah, that's what it is. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to try that. I love my hot chocolate, so that's a good idea. 
along with the hot chocolate is a mug with my name on um as you can see which is quite cute so i can try the hot chocolate in the mug so yeah i love i love my mugs as well like everybody knows i have so many mugs the next thing that is in here is a little bauble that's got my name on as well um, and they've got two Frère Rochers inside. I absolutely love Frère Rochers, they're my favourite chocolate. So I think that was a bit of a coincidence, but I thought it was really, really cute. So that'll definitely go on my Christmas tree next year. But yeah, so cute. Then the next thing, oh, this was inside the mug, was a little candy cane, which funnily enough, I was thinking to myself, do I get myself some candy canes this year? Because I absolutely love them, but I never have them. So now I've got myself a little candy cane that I can eat. And then the last thing that is in here is a box of chocolates. Um, it's a dairy box, the classic collection. And inside is a vanilla cup, salted toffee, which is new. Um, chocolate velvet, hazel smooth, orange surprise, cookies and cream. Caramel heart and a strawberry kiss. So can't wait to eat them. And yes, that was everything inside of the Christmas Eve box, which I thought was such a cute idea. So thank you very much, Tracy, for that. Now we're going to move on to Christmas Day presents. So this is what I got on Christmas Day. Obviously, I already mentioned the lottery ticket, which I don't have to prove because I screwed it up and threw it out and I didn't win. <laughs> Love you really, Trace. Um, but first of all, at work, we did a Secret Santa. Um, I ended up knowing who my Secret Santa was because there was one person off with COVID and she was off until after Christmas and I was the only one that didn't have a Secret Santa, so I was knew it was her, so obviously I wasn't expecting her to actually get me anything because she'd been locked up for 11 days. Um, but yeah, um, she came in and she got me my Secret Santa. And the first thing in the Secret Santa is this Midnight Bloom Relaxing Bubble Bath. Um, it's white fig and violet, and it smells absolutely amazing. So I can't wait to try this out in my bath. Absolutely love it. But yeah, that's that one. And then the next thing that she got me, bear in mind, we, have a, we had a budget of, I think it was 10 pounds. She definitely spent over 10 pounds. Um, is this Snow Fairy Gin Liqueur with classic Copper de Bellon. I think I said that right and it's really cute it's got this like it's got like a little glass in it a little like wine glass and it's got the gin um I've never ever tried this but it sounds really intriguing it says shake to awake the magic um so I'm quite in intrigued it's a small batch gin traditionally distilled and cut with fairy water infused with cinnamon spice and orange so I'm intrigued for what that tastes like and yeah I'm quite excited for that that was my secret Santa present. Now moving on to my main presents. So first of all, my mum and dad's neighbour who I absolutely love. When I lived there, I absolutely love him literally so much. She even got me a moving in, little moving in present for my new flat. And last year they also got me a Christmas present. Well this year they got me a little chocolate Santa, which is quite really, really cute. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to eat that. I just love chocolate anyway, so that's always a bonus. But yeah, I thought it was really cute that they got me a little chocolate Santa, so thank you. So the next thing is off my mum and dad. I have opened this because I was really intrigued because I didn't really understand it, but it's a Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate with marshmallows. So it's basically two sachets of Galaxy Hot Chocolate and some little marshmallows which is really really cute considering I love my hot chocolate and I've only just recently tried the galaxy hot chocolate and I absolutely love it so that is such a bonus and then the next thing they got me was I thought this was so cute it's this little like decoration it's kind of like wooden um, in a little heart shape and on one side is a little B and on the other side it says be happy with some bees and you can literally just hang it up which I thought was really cute and apparently it's from a little stall at the Christmas market in um, the, at the Lara Centre so 
so I thought that was really cute. She even put a business card in it. So it's from Bethany Rose Art, Bespoke Art and Gifts. And there's a little website, Instagram and Facebook page. So I'll leave them details in the description below. Doesn't want to focus. I actually can't get it to focus. So what I'll do is I'll leave the information in the description below because I thought it was really cute and I'm actually quite excited to look at some more stuff that she does as well to help decorate my flat. The next thing I got off my mum and dad was um, this. <laughs> and if you can read it, you can read it. But basically it says, we have bought you a ticket for the Wante concert in March. Hope you have a great time when you go, in brackets, COVID permitting, with all our love, mum and dad. And it's the Manchester, the wanted ticket, so I'm really excited for that. Um, and I can't wait. Yep, so that's like, I paid for Liverpool to go with my friends, so I'm going to see them at Liverpool, and now I'm going to see them at Manchester. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to grab the next thing, because I actually washed it, so it won't be a second, of what they got me. It's still a tiny bit wet, but it's fine. Um, so the next thing she got me, is mum and dad got me is the wanted hoodie it's this like tie dyed black and blue got the wanted written on it and then it's got like the greatest hits there um which is glad you came all time low chasing the sun heart vacancy gold forever lose my mind lightning we own the night i found you what's like rihanna war zone show me love america could this be love rule the world and colors <laughs> guys tell me my favorite boy boy band without Telling me my favourite boyfriend. <laughs> but yeah. So that's the last thing that they got me. Um, next is what my sister got me for Christmas. And. Surprise, surprise guys. I'm going to see The Wanted in Leeds as well. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, I'm just trying to make sure there's no like. I'm just gonna cover that up and yeah, show you that bit. But yeah, I'm going to the one in Leeds as well. I've got to try and get all this time off work and make sure I'm not in. So that's three dates that I'm going to now. So I'm going to see them in Leeds, Manchester and Liverpool. I'm so excited. Guys, honestly, if you haven't guessed who my favourite boy band is yet, I don't know when you'll ever know when my favourite boy band is. <laughs> so I'm really, really grateful. So. Thank you mum and dad for my presents off you guys and thank you Tracy for my ticket for the one in. I'm so excited. Um, Tracy is coming with me to the Manchester date and the Leeds date so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, thank you guys. So next I'm going to show you presents off my aunties and uncles and the first thing is I saw this lamp that I really, really wanted for my living room. So basically, this lamp is gonna go where the Christmas tree is behind me when it's down. And yeah, it's rose gold, which is my theme. Well, it says copper, which is basically rose gold, is the theme of my living room and my kitchen. So it'll go perfectly with that. And I actually really can't wait to put this up. Like, I'm so excited. I saw it ages ago and I finally got it. So that is the first thing that they got me. Oh, I left something out that my mum and dad got me. They also got me these Oreos, which I'm quite intrigued about because it's got white chocolate on the outside of it and I've never tried them before. So, yeah. Thank you, Mum and Dad. And then the next thing they got me is some money. I always end up getting money off them as well. But, yeah. And then also off another auntie, I got money off her as well. So, thank you for that. Then also off my aunt is and uncles i got some frere rochers i'm missing these two rolls because there's coconut in it and i don't like coconut so my dad's at them but yeah i love frere rochers literally these ones are my favorites and then they're my, my second favorites and i just don't like coconut but i absolutely love frere rochers as you can probably tell from this big ginormous tin of it love them and then i think i've just found a christmas hat from a christmas cracker so let's just pop that on, just get festive and everything. Um, the last thing that I actually got was from Father Christmas. And I always get chocolate off Father Christmas. So the first one is this cute little Fortin's little elf, cheeky elf um, chocolate, which I'm quite excited for. And it even says from Santa. 
Honestly, this camera does not want to focus today. I don't want to focus, focus mate. Anyways, it says to Sarah, Merry Christmas from Santa. And then this one's that I've definitely not opened and definitely not started eating already because I just couldn't resist. It's also from Santa, uh, Maltese and Truffles, which is my favorite chocolate from Celebrations. So thank you, Father Christmas. And yeah, I think that's it. I did put everything underneath the Christmas tree. So I think that's everything I got. So thank you everybody for, get, for the presents that I got. Thank you Father Christmas, my aunties, my uncles, my mum, my dad and my sister. Really, really appreciate it. And yeah, so thank you guys so much um, for watching this video. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and spent it with your loved ones. And yeah, it was definitely a better Christmas than last year because we were allowed to mix and actually see family this Christmas. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite Christmas present that you got was down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.